G'day humans, Chris Dead here. Today we're talking about LG's WebOS 25 platform, the new operating software for their range of not just TVs, but as you're about to hear, monitors, projectors, cars, uh, even more. So at the launch of the 2025 range in Sydney, Australia, the local staff took journalists through a rundown of all the range. You've probably seen some videos already appear on my channel uh, looking into some of the new OLED and QNED TVs coming out in 2025. They also spoke about WebOS 24, uh, sorry, WebOS 25, and took us through a range of demonstrations showing what it can do, in particular, what it can do with the help of AI. So in this video, I'm gonna let you see everything they've got to say. Uh, so it'll start with a little bit of a, a, a briefing on you know what WebOS is and does, uh, and then you're gonna start seeing some demonstrations of that new operating system in action. Uh, and this is with the experience that you're gonna get on any of the 2025 models that are coming out in Australia or overseas. Okay, let's hear from LG. Now I'm just gonna talk about what Lots of hardware here, lots of TVs, lots of processors, panels, blah, blah, blah. But we're equally getting a really strong reputation for the software. So we call our operating system WebOS, and we're now in our 11th year of running this WebOS system. It's gotten better and better as, as like our technology. This is showing a screenshot of the Australian screen. You can see Stan there, KO Binge. A um, couple of other providers there on the right. We work in Australia with these global partners and also the local guys to try and make everything work for them on the screen. So they can advertise up here, their leading content, um, having a, a presence on the launcher bar puts them front of mind for consumers out there in Australia. And if they've got metadata running, they will come up, pop up here in the editorial rail. So the more people that watch Rings of Power in Australia this week, the more chances it will have to come up here. So we're re really working hard with these content partners. I think you guys know that there's a lot of change happening in the industry, the free-to-air space. Um, I told the story before about my son. Um, he, he really doesn't know what free-to-air live TV is. In fact, last night he actually said, Dad, should we see what's on live TV? And I'm like, what? It's not live TV, man, it's TV. But he knows it as live TV because he spends his life on YouTube, watching how other people are playing games and getting strategies. He goes into stand and watch the highlights of the Six Nations rugby. And then if he doesn't get what he wants out of there, he'll go and play Xbox on the other console. So. He just doesn't use live TV, except for last night when they were bored. Um, but the point of saying that is, it's a massively changing consumer landscape. You know, free to air now has less time, linear TV, less time on a screen than all the catch up apps. It's actually flipped around. You, 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 there's a lot of information going around about that. I, th I feel like we're really at this tipping point between streaming and uh, linear TV. A lot of stuff happening in this space. We also yeah. upgrade your uh, your software every for five years. So so if you buy this TV in 2025, for the next four years after, you'll get the latest WebOS 26, WebOS 27, 28, blah, blah, blah. So it's not little bits of changes. It's the entire operating system gets applied to every TV here for the next four years. Do you know if you can opt out of the, the ads? In your... You can. You can. Yeah, you can. But to be honest, if you can, it's definitely an option that you have. Um, but a lot of the advertising is from content providers. Yeah. And a lot of it is showing you what you can watch on the TV. Um, we also live in a world where mate, everything else in the world has ads on it. So um, That's just giving people the choice, I guess. Uh, yeah, and, and absolutely. Uh, if you want to, you can. You can switch off connected services and things like that. Um, but... Everything we're doing, even the advertising, is trying to give you the best possible experience. So, you know, I, I know that's funny because it is advertising, it is interrupting, but, you know, if, if you're into buying new sneakers or something like that and watching a whole lot of things, you'll get served more ads on sneakers, for, for example. So it is getting into that, that movie Minority Report with Tom, Tom
Tom Cruise running through and eyeballs are scanning <laughs> him to see it's him and put up the stuff. But um, generally we're doing all this to make your lives better. Well, that's just rolling. I will get this demo lined up for you guys. Okay, so when it comes to buying a TV with an Alpha 8 processor, you are getting a lot more AI, you're getting a lot more assistance with your finding of content and also viewing your content. So what we can do is actually activate multi-view and there it is so obviously I can airplay to one screen that's cool and I can catch my footy on the screen but if I actually initiate multi-view from the menu we're in that situation where everyone uses their phone while they watch TV right it's what we all do here I can then go side by side or picture in picture. And I can get the best of both worlds. So while I'm watching footy, just while that loads, I can be catching a movie. And if there's a replay I wanna catch, I can get a bit of a larger screen, I can hear the audio. You can see if that's in a bad spot, Maybe I can move it to a different spot on the screen and when I want to go back to my regular picture here or I can get rid of it completely. Boom, that's available because it's the Alpha 8 processor. Um, super handy feature, it supports um, Spotify, YouTube, um, HDMI, uh, AirPlay, screen sharing, uh, even a camera if you wanted to do video camera work on there. It's a pretty functional. In addition to that, while we are talking about the AI features, I do want to talk about the new Magic Remote from LG. So we've slimmed it down front and side here, and we've looked at the way people are using modern TVs. As nice as it is to have, you know, all the buttons you could ever want, no one really wants their remote to look like the Starship Enterprise. You just want it to have the buttons you need. And what we've done is literally everything has a purpose. If you do need to access extra functions, they are there. So if we want to go to inputs now, Inputs is more than just HDMI, for Xbox, for Foxtel. It's all of my smart devices on the screen here. So I can see my appliances, I can see my smart home devices, as well as, yes, yes, you could. So you could um, Google cast your camera to your TV. Yes, you can. Yep. And all your entertainment is also here. So at one push of the button, as Tony was talking about before, there's all my smart TV. We can find the content, but we're gonna have a look at smart TV and AI in a little bit later, but I think you know our menu and all of that content. I love it because it's curated to me. It's recommended based on what I watch. It's not just what's trending, but the trending bar is actually updated every hour. And I'll be honest, it is pretty handy to see what's watching. So you don't rock up at the water cooler and Oh, I'm still watching Underbelly. Oh, that was so 10 years ago, you know, right? Okay. The first thing you'll notice with your astute eyes is that there's two TVs here, but three monitors. Why is that, you ask? Well, obviously you would have seen the press release recently where big change in LG, so we talk about LG evolving as a company. Effectively, we've merged the IT and the TV or home entertainment groups together, and so we're now calling this media entertainment solutions or media solutions, which is a bit easier to get your head around. Um, why are we doing this? We see so much OLED technology in our TV range, we're using that in our monitors, so they're trying to look at synergies of scale and say, well, we've got the OLED tech in the monitors, but also that WebOS stuff that we sh we're showing you, we're bringing that increasingly into monitors as well. So I'm not going to go through all the details of it, but basically, that WebOS smart operating system you'll see rolling out across monitors, projectors, it's also going into cars globally, that, that is our software to, to use experiences. But what we've also got here on the wall is the first 5K, 2K monitor. So it was debuted at CES, uh, got a lot of positive reviews and Tommy will do a demonstration in a moment in terms of that screen resolution. But you know, leadership in OLED also applies to small screens. We brought NVIDIA G-Sync to the first TVs with um, OLED. And I can announce that the Xbox app is coming to LG TVs. So you don't need a console anymore from April. So in next month, we're going to have the Xbox app. While this content's playing, 
The AI and the TV is designed to complement your experience, not dominate. So while it's playing, I'll just give you an example. Make the voices clearer. And while this isn't voice content, it will immediately just give you different sound tones based on what it thinks might suit that content or make the picture clearer. Oh, not make a picture clearer. Make picture clearer. And again, oh, no go. Okay. Ah, my bad. Make picture sharper. And again, you can quickly switch between different, you can see some adjustment in the background as it optimizes to raise more detail out of the scene. This is a Web 25 feature? It is a Web OS 25 feature, so yeah. This, but, but this doesn't go back to 2022 models? They are definitely trying their best to roll back as much of the experience, maybe some of the functionality is linked to the processor, Yeah. Um, but we just have to wait and see. They always start with the intention to bring as much as they can back, but it really depends on the chipsets, what they can do. Okay, in terms of searching for content, of course, you can just jump straight in. I've added some good videos on this at CES, so a really good entertainment, I enjoyed those. Um, but when we are, for example, watching live TV, I'm going to bring this up now. I'll find a TV show. House Hunters, Extra, Getaway. Oh, okay. So I don't recognize any of these shows, but maybe this one will work. All right. So we can ask. On your Who are the actors in this TV series? And then, obviously, Below Deck is a very popular show. But these, incredibly, they love their uh, privacy, these actors. Anyway, their profiles will be generated depending on if it's a movie, a TV series. You know, they would come up there and you can obviously explore more data about them by jumping onto the website. Or say you're just catching some sport. I haven't got any sport on command, but you could say EPL scores online. And it's going to launch a mini browser where I can just catch, you know, information. So I can literally web browse while watching my show. So it could be on an iPad. It could be through the TV's browser, just like that. But the AI is designed to complement and just improve your experience. Now, of course, in the menu, there is the ability to customize everything to your heart's content. We've got the personalized picture wizard, which you've seen, perhaps, and that will just walk you through here. And people might say, oh, they look pretty similar. Well, the goal is not necessarily just to push you into a standard vivid or cinema mode, but also to detect if maybe you have a vision impairment. So some of these ones that are like super saturated, uh, are actually identifying to the TV, maybe you haven't got the eyes that you remember you having, and it will walk you through <laughs> to, to getting a picture mode that suits you. He's just throwing back the problem settings that you made earlier. Yeah. <laughs> obviously, obviously, you've got different people in your house, though. So is it... Is it, is it... Uh, it does change if you set it up yeah. under profile. a profile for Tony and a profile for Josh and set yeah. your Tony's mm -hmm. picture settings. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Yeah, it'll change. Right. <laughs> it'll change when you think we're doing When's this rolling out? Uh, this is available on 2025 models, so stock is uh, pretty much hitting stores now. Right. Yeah.